Welcome to part 5 of this free online post-processing workshop series. Again, this is Doc Ian from NAP, Newborn Academy for Photographer Philippines, wherein we are a local group of photographers who teaches aspiring newborn photographers safe and effective practice of the genre. So, we give this for free, not just to our students, but to all viewers out there, please like and subscribe to help sustain this channel um, and we give this for free so that you'll have a glimpse or an idea on what the people are learning in our workshop this is just the tip of the iceberg all right so this is part five uh, wherein we will be dealing with dodging and burning so in part four I showed you how to remove blotchiness and imperfections to the skin so we use frequency separation um, spot healing brush clone stamp tool and other tools to turn your image from this one to this one. The problem with frequency separation is it kind of makes the image a bit flat. So you kind of lose the transition from shadows and highlights, which is expected because you're trying to even out the blotchiness. You want to remove the blotchiness and sometimes you result in a flattened image like so. This one is not so bad, but uh, I kind of want to add more depth into the image. And how do we do that? There are several ways of doing this. One is dodging and burning. So let's start first with dodging and burn burning, all right? So this is the basic, most easy way to do this because it's free, all right? So what we have here is to create a layer fill that is 50% gray. So you can Google how to do this very easy. And I have this in my action set that I give to my students. And we create two layers, okay? Uh, one is for dodging, okay? and one is per burning, okay? So I don't want to dodge and burn directly onto my image. I feel that it's easier to control if you do a separate layer, a 50% gray layer, wherein you will do your dodging and burning, and at the same time, uh, it doesn't destroy your original image, okay? So here's your dodge tool. So when we dodge, we have to make sure it's on mid-tones, and I just usually play at around 5%. When we dodge, we want to hit the highlights. So the purpose of dodging, again, for me, this is how I see it, is we want to make those highlights stronger and the purpose of burning is to make those shadows stronger so that you would have a better transition, a better depth on your images. So, okay. So sometimes you don't see it right away. So I'm just, I'm just brushing and painting onto the highlights part of the image. And again, uh, experience will teach you and your eyes how to do it, which is enough, which is too much. And as you can see, there's your change. You see that? So that's the area that you dodge. And if you want to hit more on the highlights, you can actually change this to highlights so that you will be hitting more of those highlights when you dodge, okay? And then on burning, you go burn. Here, it's definitely mid-tones and 5%. And we try to hit the mid-tones. So, this is where the shadow part of the face should be, okay? So we try to give depth, to give more shape. So on those creases, those part that should have been part of the shadows of the image, okay? So you can see here, that's the part of the reduction burn. And then you combine it, group it, command G, and you can see what we've done. So from this one to this one. And you can see after dodging and burning your image, the light has been um, controlled better in more refined way to give more depth on your image okay so you see that okay so to give more depth on your image so this is part one so we'll save it here so this is one where we dodge and burn it okay so dodge and burn G and B okay so from here to here so so let's go back let's go back to the snapshot okay so command shift E to flatten it one way of doing things is to use some presets. And one of my favorite shops to get some presets are Appleseed Photography. And one of my favorite would be your Appleseed Base. So do check out their channel. Appleseed Photography is one of the sponsors of our workshop. I really love their learning materials. You can learn a lot about newborn photography there. And the Appleseed Base is one of my favorite. So when you apply that, my students, by the way, get a version of this for free. Uh, it's a different set. Uh, this one is the Appleseed Base. I think my students get the, yeah, the newborn base too. So let's try to use this. 
It's similar to Dodgy and Burning, but with some color correction here and there. So this is the Newborn Base 2, okay? Uh, so what I do is I create a layer mask, okay? And I invert it because again, I want to paint only on my highlights. And then I paint using my brush tool, make sure that the foreground is white, and usually I just do it at 30%. And so, okay, paint it over here, yeah. There you go. So, and hmm, I feel it's too strong. No? We turn it down to maybe 50% here. There you go. There you go. So that's the beauty of working with layers. If you think this is too strong, you can simply turn it down. Okay. Or you can start all over. Let's delete this. Create a new mask. Okay. And maybe put your brush to just around 20%. So it's always a good idea to just go slow. 20% so that the transition is less obvious okay go slow go slow and then add along the way if you think kulang pa if you think it's not enough you can just add along the way and then same process burning so burn tool and then burn this okay yeah there you go all right it's getting better yeah so again this is doing it roughly but uh once you have more time you can do it more controlled more detailed okay way of doing things and let's take a look at it all right so that is your dodging and burning using the apple seed base too so let's try again and make another screenshot okay so apple seed base two okay and okay i'll show you how i do it with this is my personal workflow okay uh, unfortunately, this is a paid workflow because, uh, sorry, you have to buy the Appleseed presets, but I think it works well. So I use the Appleseed base, so not the base too. This is the Appleseed base that comes with the set when you buy it. Uh, the difference is, aside from making it brighter, it kind of makes the color a little bit more creamy, okay? It makes it more creamy, okay? And we do 30%, okay? And probably... So... There you go. For me, this is like the perfect level of brightness and creaminess. Okay. And another burning, 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 burning the highlights. So you're simply following the, the original lighting of the image. So again, this is Rembrandt lighting, wherein you have the triangle over that cheek over there. So you want that triangle to be brighter, bright-ish. Okay. Okay. And then, yeah, there you have it. There you go, see? So it's more controlled. You can go back and actually add more. So if you want to burn more this side. There you go. So it's controlling the image. Okay. So screenshot. So these are the three methods of dodging and burning that we did. Okay. Um, Apple seed base, AS base. So pretty much the same from, from the original one. Okay. So to this one. A bit flattened so you can use the dodge and burn apple seed base two or base one so depends on your preference all right thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next video and hope you find this very helpful all right